Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name is Craig. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. It's time for a Hidden Gems. And today I'm going to be looking at Cartoon Capers by Gary Jones. So guys, this is Hidden Gems. If you don't know what Hidden Gems is, the idea is simple. I take a uh, an old trick, an old product, an old lecture item, an old thing from inside somewhere that people have forgotten, like a dusty old book on the shelf, and I bring it uh, to your attention and I point out how awesome it is. We stand on the shoulders of giants and there's a whole bunch of tricks out there that people don't buy because they are looking for the latest and greatest trick. We get excited about the latest and greatest trick and we forget about all of the tricks that have come out beforehand that are simply awesome. And today, like I said, I'm going to be looking at Cartoon Capers by Gary Jones. You can get this from Penguin Magic. Uh, it got bought out a few years ago now, and a lot of people have forgotten about it, and that is a real shame because it is really, really, really good. So if you don't know what Cartoon Capers is, I'm going to show you a full performance, and then we're going to talk about why you should get this and put it in your act immediately. Uh, i got a pack of cards, and I've also got Sarah behind the camera. How are you doing, Sarah? You okay? Yeah. Good stuff. So we've got a pack of 52 playing cards here, and you're going to pick one of them. So I'm going to uh, shuffle through the cards like this, as I do any time you want to say stop. Stop. There, are you sure? Yeah. So King of Spades, are you happy with the King of Spades? Yeah. Cool. If you are happy with the King of Spades, I am happy with the King of Spades. Now, this is a signed card trick, uh, but you're behind the camera, so I'm going to write your name, and I'm literally going to write your name all over the card. So I'm going to put Sarah here, I'm going to put Sarah here, I'm going to put Sarah here. That one came out of Satan, sorry about that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Although, although it does describe you in many ways. So there you go. SLP, your initials. Okay. Cool. So I'm sure you'll agree that that is probably the most signed card in the pack. I've yes. literally covered it with ink, and you could have picked any card. Now, it's important uh, that you are aware that you had a completely free choice. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing. This is what I'm going to do. I want you to watch. I'm going to try and do the impossible. I'm going to put your card here for a minute, and I'm going to grab in my pocket. I have it somewhere. Here it is. Uh, this is an, it, an Acme Portable Hole. Do you see there? Acme Portable Hole? Yeah. Now, um, if you've seen Roadrunner or you've seen uh, the Roadrunner cartoons, Wiley E. Quixote is always running around trying to stop the Roadrunner. And one way he does that is he takes a portable hole, drops it on the, on the road, and normally the Roadrunner will run over it. And when he goes and checks it, it falls down into nothingness. This is actually a portable hole. Now, I know you don't believe me, so I'm going to prove it to you. Now, if you were here... You could actually touch the hole. That sounds terrible. You could actually, uh, you could check it all out and you could feel the card underneath. Yep. Um, but I want you to watch really carefully. This happens on three. Watch the portable hole. One, two, three. You see, when I blow, that portable hole disappears completely. It's gone. It doesn't just disappear, though. It actually travels because now the card underneath the portable hole has the hole right there through it. And that is your signed card there and you can see that the hole has actually gone through where we wrote your name <laughs> amazing so, there you so first of all we all know that gary jones is an absolute legend in the community not just the uk community just magic in general gary jones is an absolute legend he has created more commercial material than almost anybody I know. But on top of that, he is a super nice guy. He is an incredible performer and he's out doing it. A lot of creators these days, I've got a review show special going up on Sunday with a creator who I don't believe is going out doing it and it's just dreadful. But Gary is the exact opposite of that. Gary is the sort of person that goes out and does an incredible job every single time. He's an amazing performer, but not only that, because he goes out and performs everything he creates, you know it's going to be worked in. You know it's going to be good. And he doesn't put anything out unless it's absolutely awesome. And he's worked all the wrinkles out. The amount of material that comes out these days, and it's half thought out rubbish, tat, basically, is what it is. While Gary really thinks about everything. And you know that when he's bought out the trick, you know he's managed to get it to the final point. You know he's thought through absolutely everything. And that's what you have with cartoon capers. You have a really well thought out commercial routine where Gary has done all the thinking for you, has tried it out in the real world. The presentation's there, the gimmick's there, everything's there that you need to be able to kill with it immediately. So what do you get with cartoon capers? Well, you get everything that you need to perform the routine. Um, and you saw the effect. The effect is really strong. 
First of all, I love the hook. You start bringing up uh, holes and acne portable holes, people sit up and pay attention. And um, this is a perfect example because people do sit up and pay attention uh, when, you, when you bring out this little acne portable hole card. Um, it's, it conjures up images of the Roadrunner, it conjures up images of our childhood, it's a really cool plot. Uh, but then you've got this really awesome moment where the card that they picked, which is a freely chosen card, apparently, the card that they pick has the hole jump off the Acme Portable Hole card and jump onto their selected card, which they signed, by the way. Don't forget that. They signed this card. No ambiguity there. No ambiguity at all. They sign the card and yet the hole jumps onto the spectator's card. It's incredible. It's such a really strong moment and it makes a great opener. You know, I've had a question uh, recently on one of the Q&As and it's like, well, how do I make card magic interesting? A lot of the time when I go up to a group and I bring out a pack of cards and I go pick a card, people go, oh, I've seen that one before. Um, how do I get around that? Well, one way to get around that is by doing something, if you're going to open with a card routine, doing something which doesn't look like a card routine and allows you to say, well, this isn't a card trick. I saw that in Carl Pamel's Brainchild. You know, the presentation that he had for that was great. If you've seen Carl perform Brainchild, he says at the beginning, this is not a card trick. This is not a card trick. Let me explain why it's not a card trick. You could take that same approach with this. This is not a card trick. I know you're going to think it's a card trick and we are going to use playing cards, but this is not a card trick. This is a demonstration in physics. You see, I have here a portable hole. And then you go into it and immediately people aren't thinking, okay, this is the same sort of thing that I've seen before. The hook of a routine is very, very important. And the other thing that's important is, is the practicality of a routine. And this is so super practical. Everything has been thought out to the nth degree, like you would imagine with Gary Jones. Everything has been well constructed and routine, like you would imagine. And it is such a strong visual moment and a real strong moment of strange. Um, I perform this all of the time. I love performing this. This is such a strong routine. And I would highly recommend it to anybody. Anybody who does commercial close-up magic, get this. You don't, really, you don't really need a table. It can be routine without a table. Uh, it's fairly easy to do. There's one move, which is kind of like a, uh, I think a JK Hartman style blow change. Uh, but there's not really many moves to speak of. It's not very... Uh, move intensive and I love the display at the beginning where you're taking the pen and putting it through the holes so they can see the holes there they see that card has a hole on it and then a second later the hole is gone and it's on the card that they signed there's nothing more magical than that if you haven't checked out cartoon capers you can get it as a as a complete package with everything that you need along with a full download and it is highly highly recommended it's a million times better than 90 percent of the stuff that's coming out at the moment and it's totally indicative of gary's genius thinking and by the way while i'm on the subject of gary being a genius if you haven't already devoured every single thing that gary's bought out go do that go check out his ebooks go check out the book that he wrote with gary uh, with uh, chris congreve go check out his other stuff on penguin go check out everything Gary Jones is a legend, in my opinion, and we will be much better magicians if we study the type of magic that he does. So there you go, guys. That's another uh, hidden gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another magic live. I'm going to be back uh, at nine o'clock with another video. So there's a lot going on. In fact, I'm back tomorrow with another one of the three best things. I haven't done one of those in a while, and it's one that's been really really requested so i'll see you again tomorrow if you haven't already done so go check out the netrix it's www.thenetrix.com we're open for business and people are loving it i'll be back again soon thanks very much for watching my name's craig for magic tv mm -hmm.